So I'm sitting here waiting on somebody to hop on a Zoom to do an interview for the 100 Coaches Project. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, I'm feeling compelled to just record something, record me talking. God knows why. Uh, it could be boring as hell. It could yield absolutely nothing. It could yield insight. I have no idea. But for whatever reason, I'm being compelled to record this, so I'm just gonna talk and see what comes up. The 100 Coaches Project. This was born out of an idea. Actually, no, that's not true. This was born out of a discovery from my human design. Uh, if you're not familiar with human design, it basically takes a bunch of disciplines and mashes them together to bring the best stuff out. It's kind of like what I say in coaching all the time, take what works for you and leave the rest. And that's kind of what human design has done from the Chinese I Ching, Vedic astrology, and there's a couple other disciplines in there that I don't remember. The main point is this idea for the 100 Coaches Project, it came about from a self-discovery within me through my human design chart. And through my human design, I discovered that I am a manifesting generator. And while that might sound awesome and just like all outputting, all outgoing, uh, that's not actually who I am and how it works. See, the way that I best function, and maybe you're this way too, is I have to wait to respond to something in order to really contribute, to really move the needle forward. In other words, I can't push things out there. I can't, for lack of a better word, I can't force my will onto anybody. I have to be the one who responds to a need. And everything that I had done in the coaching space previously had all been basically trying to push my perspective about what my ideal client might need, to try to push that perspective and that solution out there. And it worked a little bit. I had clients, had some success, got them good results. However, it, it never, it just never hit the scale that I need to hit, that I want to hit through my mission, which is to help 10 million people be successful in their first business. And I'm starting with the coaches, the healers, the light bringers, the teachers. That's who I'm starting with because we're entering a, a transition point in this world. People are waking up in massive numbers and we are also going to hit a level of strife that we have not seen in our lifetime. I don't know what that all is going to entail, but I do know that that is the reason that so many coaches, healers, and experts are starting to step forward is because they are going to be needed in this time of transition. So back to the human design element and the 100 Coaches Project. This project is all about talking to people, actually connecting, which is something that is missing in our digital age, but is starting to resurface as a need, because it is, it's a human need. We want to be heard, we want to connect, we want to feel just part of a community, part of a tribe, and that's, that's just in our genetics, right? So the 100 Coaches Project is all about talking to new, life coaches, new life coaches to hear your story, your perspective in your words about the struggles, the frustrations, the confusions, the overwhelm, all of that stuff that comes along with starting your first business. I've been online in the entrepreneurship space since 2012. And just like most people who have had any kind of success, the majority of my outings in the business world have been mistakes. So number one, I know what not to do in order to be successful, which is a great value add right there. It's, it's the biggest value add right there because number one, it's gonna save you the most precious thing that you have. It's going to save your time. And the other purpose of this, again, is to actually just hear your story, hear what's going on with you, what you wanna build in business and what help you need because I can sit here and postulate all that I want. Think about 
oh, you need help with you know your messaging. You need help with uh, reaching out to people on social media, growing your audience, growing a buyer audience, um, creating an offer that will sell. And all of that may be true, but if there's aspects of that that you don't need or you already have figured out, why would I waste my time trying to sell you something you don't need? You know, why sell you a, a Phillips head screwdriver when you need a hammer? It just doesn't make any sense. That's the purpose of this project. I'm going to interview a hundred new life coaches to figure out your needs, your desires, your wants, and how you word these things, how you embody these things in your life and in your business and create something that will actually help you actually move the needle based on my experience since 2012 of being online and in business and mentorships and programs that I have undertaken since that time. And that's it. That's really it. Now, whether after I come up with this stuff, after I come up with this program that's going to help literally millions of people, if you're still looking for help, and it works for you still, then that's cool. If I reconnect with you at some point and find out you're already working with somebody, you're good, you're solid, hey, all good. That's amazing. I'm under, I'm under no delusion that I'm the only business coach or the best business coach out there. If you found someone that works for you, then that is beautiful and I celebrate that. But this is the point. I believe that entrepreneurship is the key to unlock humanity's freedom. Literally, humanity right now is only a tiny portion free. There is so much more we can achieve. And that freedom, I believe, is best unlocked through entrepreneurship, through people being in control of their own schedule, in control of their own time, work how they want, where they want, when they want, have more time for their family than friends and themselves, for God's sakes. Stop devoting your entire life to somebody else's dream, somebody else's nine to five. And through that, your spirit opens up, your mind opens up. You, you have the ability to just relax and breathe a little bit because you're in control. You're back in control of your life and doing something that you love. And speaking of freeing humanity, this goes into the why behind my coaching and what I'm doing. The why is to help create a coalition through these millions of people that I'm going to help have a thriving business going to create a coalition of people that will invest and just help push the narrative of zero point energy and what this means zero point energy would basically mean the end the end period of the fossil fuel industry the windmill industry that is just in my opinion a, a blight on our beautiful earth and a complete scam we just need to get rid of those stupid windmills. I can't stand looking at them. Anyways, get rid of those. Get rid of the nuclear energy industry. I mean, talk about something that we just have no idea where that can go and how it's polluting our environment. Yeah, it might be contained, but how many of new nuclear power plants have we developed lately? Hmm? Probably none. I don't think any, in fact. There's all these designs and theories of ways we could do it better, but have we implemented those designs? Have we made a brand new nuclear power plant? No. And even if you did, you still have the fuel rods. You still have you still <laughs> you still have to use nuclear radiation and interaction to boil water, to power something, to get the energy to go out. And what happens when those fuel rods are old and can't be used anymore? Well, they're freaking radioactive. And what do we do? We got to bury them under the ground somewhere. Well, what the hell does that do to our earth? And how long do they have to stay buried underground before they're not radioactive enough to cook a human being inside of 30 minutes? It's just a waste. It's a waste. It's a, it's a blight on our society and it needs to go. And zero point energy is the answer. 
With zero point energy, there is no emissions. There is no harmful side effects. There is no radiation. Something the size of a Coke can can power an entire city. Zero point energy contained in something the size of a Coke can can power a city for a year. And it's renewable. It pulls energy in from the atmosphere. It pulls it in from the atmosphere, converts it, and regulates it out. Just imagine. <laughs> imagine you could have something that would power your car forever. And it never needs charging. You don't have to plug it in anywhere. You don't have to fill it up with gas. None of it. Just take your little Coke can, put it in your car, and drive off. When that car wears out, you take out your Coke can and you put it into your new car and you drive off. And the same thing powers your house forever. The same thing powers all the delivery services. It's the same thing, it powers all the manufacturing, all the lights, all the powered infrastructure of the entire world. And if it ever dies, you buy another one. That's it. No monthly power bill ever. Imagine what that'll do. Never having to charge a car, never having to go to the gas station again, never having to pay a light bill, ever. And that trickles down to the manufacturing space too. What happens when your products decrease in price by 30%? Every single product decreases in price by 30% because it doesn't cost as much to produce it because they're not paying for energy. The farmers aren't paying for gas. The people that manufacture products are not paying for electricity. They're not paying for lights. None of it. Everything goes down. Your money will be worth so much more and go so much further. And we can end this ridiculous problem. There are places in this world, and this is part of the problem that pisses me off. There are places in this world that still have no electricity. There's people living there in villages, in towns, and have no electricity. Like, what the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck? It is 2022, and we can't get power to... It, it, it blows my mind, and it pisses me off, and this is why this needs to be solved. And I know this is why the people that are in charge, the people that run the petrodollar system... They're scared shitless of, the tech, of this technology. They want to keep it down. They want to keep it out of the public's hands because it takes their power away. It takes their control over us away. They are scared to death of losing that control over us, that power over humanity. They're scared to death of losing that because they're just evil. They're evil and they're afraid. It's all a function of fear. Really, when you boil it down, when you really boil it down, there's only two main levels of emotion in humanity. There's fear and there's love. And if you have love, you can't have fear. They can't, they can't coexist at the same time. It is now time to raise humanity up because the earth is shifting. And humanity needs to shift with it. Otherwise, we are not going to survive. This is this is something that I figured out doing my, uh, one of the exercises that I teach called the five whys. Whatever your why is in business, take it and ask yourself the question, why does that matter? And when you get that answer, ask yourself, why does that matter? Repeat that process five times. And when I did that for my why, I literally came up with why does my why matter because it's the very sure it's the very survival of the human species that's why it matters that's why it matters so this is what's happening things are going to shift the petrodollar the petro empire is going to go away because we're over it we're over it and we're over your fear if you want to join humanity in prosperity and love, then we will welcome you. But if you decide that you want to stay living in fear, you want to stay clutching to your power and to your money, then you'll have no place. You'll have no place in the society that's coming. 
So I hope, I really hope and pray that you remove yourself from that fear and that you start joining humanity and start raising people up instead of trying to hold people down for your own status, power, and security. That was a lot. And that's probably why I was compelled to press the record button today. It's because this needed to come out. But that's the meaning behind this 100 Coaches project. Everything has a beginning. And this is just the beginning. I'm just getting started. If you resonate with this, if you felt anything about what I've said, share this video. I mean it. Share it. People say that all the time. Hey, if you got some value, if you liked what I had to say, share this video. No, I'm telling you, I'm imploring you, share this video. If you felt something, if you agree with it, if you think this message and this movement needs to get out, share this video. I'm not ashamed of anything that I've said. If anybody wants to have a conversation in the comments, I'm open to it. You can call me, you can call me anything you want. You can call me a dreamer, you can call me a moron, you can call me uninformed, but whatever. I don't care. I don't care. This message needs to get out. This movement needs to get out. Humanity's vibration, connectiveness, and love needs to be elevated. And everyone, everyone needs to have the security being able to have air conditioning, heating, and be able to turn a freaking light on so they can see their families, so they can see a book and read, up level themselves and be secure and safe in their home wherever they live in the world. People deserve this. And your time is coming and I'm going to help see to it that you get that security and sanctity of your life. Thanks for listening. See you in the next one. Peace.